We are in not only to the, the cold season, we're getting there, but we're into the fog season in the inland northwest. And Spokane is a foggy place. We average 48 days of heavy fog a year. And when I say heavy fog, that is visibility of a quarter mile or less. Uh, Spokane International Airport, the 16th foggiest uh, airport. Now, December is the foggiest month. We average 12 days of heavy fog in the month of December. But November and January are tied for second with nine days of heavy fog and sometimes we just get soft in and can't seem to break out and uh, we definitely have some good fog on the way for tomorrow. We are one of the foggier places uh, around the northwest averaging uh, more than 40 days of fog throughout the Columbia Basin down through the Palouse and into parts of North Idaho. Now it is foggier in Olympia, but not Seattle. Olympia uh, averages 89 days of fog. We are less foggy or more foggy than Portland, but Eugene has us beat. And one of the foggiest places in the inland northwest, Stampede Pass, has over 250 days of heavy fog a year. Uh, meanwhile, I'm watching our temperature right now. It's at 36. It hasn't budged uh, for the last little bit. And our dew point is at 33. This is a measure of atmospheric moisture. As this temperature drops to this number, that's when we get fog. The air can no longer hold any moisture. We get condensation. This number does not drop below uh, this number. It, produces fog instead and then it stops. <laughs> so some of our foggy days we also don't see our temperatures drop much but we're going to be down around freezing tonight which means uh, that we are going to see some areas of freezing fog on the roadways. 35 in Coeur d'Alene again awfully close to the dew point. Right now we're getting reports of some fog around the Moses Lake area also around Bonners Ferry with visibility down in the mile range. Here's our 24 hour forecast as we go through the next uh, 24, no precipitation. We're done with the rain and snow. High pressure anchoring itself right over us uh, through the morning tomorrow, and that is prime conditions for fog this time of year. And with all the moisture that we got today, uh, that is also a prime ingredient. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. Now, no precipitation for the next couple of days, but we will be sort of gray and damp with the low clouds and fog. Then more rain coming in for Friday. Another system comes in Saturday night and into Sunday, but we warm up. So we're going to be dealing with more rain in a set of the snow that we we saw around parts of the region today. Keith? Thank you.